Top tip number one, know your features. Sounds obvious, but with all the training in the world, things can still get forgotten or slip through the net. But don't worry. If you go into menu and down to feature demonstrations, you will find a catalogue of every single feature and a nice brief explanation and also a video to explain what that feature is and what it's going to do for you. For example, if I click on Environmental Optimizer 2, this will show me exactly what it does and it will give me a short video to play as a little bit of an explanation. Tip number two, use your acceptance manager. Now there may be several reasons why this can be useful for your patients and we're just going to go through a couple of examples. Firstly, due to our extended bandwidth, some patients, particularly first time users, could find the sound to be just a little bit sharp in the beginning. Now what you could do is go into your gain handles and reduce those high frequencies, bring them back and increase as is appropriate. Alternatively, by clicking on menu and going into acceptance manager, what you can do is set a comfortable starting point using this setting here. For example, you might want to take them to 80% of their target prescription. You can also set the duration of how long you'd like it to be running for. So perhaps from 80 to 100%, we'd like this to automatically increase over the next four weeks. By then clicking activate, both hearing aids will now work together to increase from 80 to 100% over the next four weeks. This means there's less need for that patient to come back into clinic to have an interim adjustment. They will naturally get used to the sound of amplification from 80 to 100% smoothly as those hearing aids increase. Tip number three, the Smart Fit Guide. If you're just beginning to fit GN, or maybe you're just a little bit unsure of what adjustment is going to be best for this particular problem that you've been, you've been faced with, do not worry. The Smart Fit Guide will be your perfect little helper. If you go into menu, come down to Resound Smart Fit Guide, you will find a catalogue of different issues that you may be faced with, and then some solutions that you can try and apply straight from this screen. For example, loudness. If you've got a patient that's sat in front of you saying that maybe speech is too loud, this will then give you certain solutions that you can pick and apply to both ears. And it will make that adjustment for you without you having to go and find the features. If, for example, you have a speech intelligibility issue, by clicking on a certain problem, it will also advise where appropriate if an accessory should be used. For example, consider the use of a remote microphone. Tip four, environmental optimizer and environmental optimizer two, technology depending. So if you find yourself in fitting an environmental optimizer two, in this case, as I'm connected to some level nine technology, you will see that there are seven different environments that the hearing aids can classify into. So though we may only have one static all around program, the hearing aids are constantly analyzing their surroundings, classifying between these seven environments and adjusting themselves accordingly. thus significantly reducing the need to adding any additional programs. So how do we use it? Think of it as an automatic gain adjustment. If somebody comes in and they present you with an issue, for example, they're struggling with soft speech. Instead of being in your gain adjustments and making adjustments to specific gain handles within your fitting here, you can go into Environmental Optimizer or Environmental Optimizer 2 and increase the gain specifically for soft speech at a level that's comfortable for your patient. Why would you want to do this? Well, Sometimes one adjustment to solve one problem can cause another. For example, in this soft speech scenario, if I start increasing the high frequencies or the mid frequencies, I might then create more of an issue with things like the rustling of paper, food packaging, running water and keys. To reduce the effect of this, by using Environmental Optimizer 2, specifically adjusting on the soft speech handle that you can see on the screen, 
It's not going to make any adjustments unless those hearing aids are detecting soft speech. So it's very personal to that patient as to their issue and the solution. Tip five, maximizing speech in noise. Please do note the following adjustment is only available on our top level technology. One of the most common complaints from our patients is always, I still struggle to hear speech when it's a little bit noisy. In two simple steps, you can make a significant adjustment to help with this problem. So we start with our new familiar friend, the Environmental Optimizer 2. You'll remember that we had those seven different categories that we classify into. Lucky for us, there's two speech in noise categories. So the first thing we're going to do is go to this gain handle where we've got speech in noise moderate and speech in noise loud, and we're going to increase the gain, maybe by only two, three dB, just enough to get that difference and a noticeable increase. Now, so far, all we've done is increase the overall gain of the hearing aids when they are classifying into that speech in noise environment. Let's be honest, that's not really going to solve the problem. We've just made it a bit louder. However, here comes the good stuff. Our second step is going to be found in advanced features. You'll find something called Noise Tracker 2. Noise Tracker 2 is our noise reduction feature. This uses spectral subtraction to reduce that background noise while leaving the speech completely unaltered. Again, as we're talking about top level technology, you will find that there is a per environment option. If you click on the little settings wheel, you'll see that the same seven environments that we just found in Environmental Optimizer 2 are available in the Noise Tracker 2 per environment setting. It's almost as if we thought about it. So, what this means is that it's going to allow you to manipulate the amount of noise reduction that you'd like to apply to any particular environment up to a level of 10 dB. So in this case, all we need to do is increase the noise reduction that we want to apply in the same two sliders that we've previously increased the game for. So speech in moderate noise and speech in loud noise. Again, you're only going to want to do this by maybe two to three dB so that it's not a jumpy change and it still feels nice and a smooth transition. So let's increase those sliders by 2 dB and thus increase in the amount of noise reduction that is applied in those two environments up to a strength of 8 dB. Now, if we think about what's just happened, our first step was to increase the gain. We turned up both that background noise and that speech depending on that environment. Now what we've learned since then is that our noise reduction uses spectral subtraction. So it maintains the speech signal and we're only going to reduce background noise here. So the gain we applied to the speech stays the same. However, we're now reducing our background noise and therefore we've increased our signal to noise ratio. The speech is now at a much higher level than the background noise and hopefully your patient will be able to go into these environments and focus on conversation much better than before. Finally, tip six, tinnitus relief. We currently have two helpful tools that can help those suffering with tinnitus. The first thing we have, which is within the software, is our tinnitus sound generator. You'll find it in menu and then down under fitting. So the tinnitus sound generator, it allows you to apply different masking noises at different levels, depending on what, what your patient needs. You can apply it monaurally or binaurally. You can have nature sounds on or off. There are plenty of different presets that enable you to hopefully help that patient manage their tinnitus. You can increase the intensity. You will get a warning when you go above 70, which you can click OK. If you do need to prescribe above, just do so with caution. 
You can increase the mic relative to the tinnitus sound generator, so you can reduce the amount of input coming from the mics and increase the amount of input coming from the tinnitus sound generator. And you can also manipulate the volume control. So you can have stimulus level or stimulus level plus environmental steering. Environmental steering is quite a handy feature. And what that basically means is when the patient goes into a, a more noisy environment, the tinnitus sound generator will automatically turn itself down because generally background noise will help to mask that tinnitus and they won't need that sound being played into the ear. As the environment becomes more quiet, and their tinnitus is likely to become a little bit more prevalent, it will then increase the tinnitus sound masker and therefore keep it at a nice and comfortable level. Our second option for support for tinnitus is our Relief app. Now what's really important to know and actually really, really good is that this app isn't designed to be used purely with GN Resound hearing aids. In fact, it's not designed to be used with hearing aids at all. So anybody suffering from tinnitus, whether they wear hearing aids or not, can download this app for free and use it to its full potential. If you are wearing GN hearing aids, for example, some new Resound ones, you can direct stream the sound of the tinnitus relief app to the hearing aids themselves. Alternatively, anything that you want to listen to will come out of the phone. The first thing you can do is play different tinnitus masking sounds and there are so many to choose from. You can have sounds such as the evening forest. Or perhaps underwater is better. If you scroll, you can add your own custom sound and even give it its own name. You can then pick these different sound sets and create your own personal tinnitus masker. By adding one on top of the other, you can create a nice, rich, natural sound that will help that patient hear as comfortably as possible. What you can also do, once a setting is playing, you can set a timer for when you want it to stop. For example, if somebody needs this to help them get to sleep, they can simply press play click timer and set it to dismiss after two hours. Within the app we also have things like relax which is really useful for helping people to deal with this tinnitus if it is a big problem for them. We have meditation tips with different videos and audio clips deep breathing techniques, telling you when to breathe in and breathe out. We've also got a, le a learning section which allows the person to learn about their tinnitus, learn about how to change their thoughts about it and just give a little bit more information. And then finally, there are some in-app purchases that people can download which might give them their own personal plan. Overall, it's a super useful app Anybody can use it and it's nice and relaxing and it may even be that it's not for somebody with tinnitus. It could be for somebody who just needs something to help them relax and these kind of sound presets can help with that.